In light of being recycled now week, I put a video together on the closed loop system and uh, demonstrate how the Aquablast recycles its own water. It makes it a fitting video for this week. This is the Aquablast 915. The water and the, and the medium mix in here, creating a slurry. And if you just about see that valve at the back. So that valve there, that's the overflow valve. It's open now uh, because the water is, isn't moving. There's no slurry created. It's just, uh, you know, right at the level where it should be. But once, once the slurry gets above that, that's when the pinch valve will open. Okay, so once it's come out with the pinch valve, so the pinch valve, as you saw, it will open up. I think this was timed to about 10 seconds. It'll open up, it'll let out the, the water that's risen above the, the level inside the, uh, inside the hopper. Yeah, so it'll be filtered, so this is the first layer of filtration. The buckets are designed like a weir system where the media will sit at the bottom of the buckets. The cleaner water will be recirculated through the, through the machine, through the windscreen wash and the rinse nozzle as well. Okay, so once the water is filtered through the buckets, it'll come to, obviously, through the set tank. From the set tank, the, the water will flow through here, up this pipe, and then through the filter. The inline filter will capture any media bigger than 300 microns, which is about a third of a millimeter. So that saves it from going back through, uh, circulating back through the water. So you can see that the filter obviously doing its job. It's uh, keeping the water as clean as it can. Maybe it does need a change, which we'll probably do another, on another episode. Let me know if you want to see that. Then after that, we'll go through the diaphragm pump. The diaphragm pump will recirculate the water back through the aquablast. Through that, through the pipe back inside. Once it circulates through there, it'll come through the windscreen wash just here. So that's where the water will be used and through the, the rinse nozzle. So that's where the water will eventually end back up. And then this cycle is, is repeated up until it's ready to be changed. And you can usually see it because either the water coming through the, through the windscreen wash is a bit dirty uh, or the rinse nozzle, or you can sometimes smell it because you know, that's what happens. But that's, uh, again, th that's the benefits of the closed loop system. So you're constantly using it and uh, you don't have to worry about any extra water bills or drainage or anything like that. The said sedimentation tank is there. Again, there's a video on that. I showed you how to clean the said tank. So it's very easy to do. Maybe it requires a bit of muscle, but yeah, it's easy to do. So uh, you don't have to change any parts. Everything is just there for you to, to be cleaned and to be reused again. So. Yeah, so that's the closed loop system. If you want any more information on that, please do visit our website. We do have a lot more information on there. Uh, check out the rest of the YouTube channel and uh, you may find some helpful videos. Otherwise, if you have any more questions, just please get in touch with us in the comments. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, all that kind of good stuff. And I will catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay tuned.